Good evening. I have very mixed emotions about this story. Let us focus on the good. Okay. Sill, flipping sublime. Um, Brian Blessed, just off the chain good. Crozier is really, really good. Um, the dude in charge, his name escapes right now. What's his name? Sill's boss. I can't remember. Kiv, yeah. is it? No, Crozier's a scientist. Like Absolutely brilliant. Like the, the sassiness of uh, the, the handmaiden lady, flipping love that. I love the diversity of the cast. I forgot to mention this last week, but we will recall on Varos that Sill's um, uh, guards, bodyguards, were both black in a world of everybody that was white. And I'm sure that we raised that as being, oh, that's weird. And yet here we are on Sill's home planet and there is a massive diversity uh, amongst the populace there. In fact, maybe and all... Very feisty, sassy... Uh, young lady. Yeah. All of this adds up to a really interesting story. And for the first part of the story, um, before Ukranos felt as if the Doctor betrayed him, we'll get to all that in a minute, I loved the, all that interplay. I loved the humour of it. I, I I'd, I'd forgotten where this story went. And for a, a brief moment of time, this was a joyous romp type territory. Then, when the story flips and... To all intents and purposes, it would appear that the Doctor's gone bad. You know, for whatever reason, we feel the Doctor's gone bad at this point in the story. I've got some reservations here. So, let's just think of the aesthetics of it. That bit with Perry on the beach, where he's got Perry chained up and the tide is coming in, is horrible. It's really deeply unpleasant. It is a very, very nasty thing to do. And it's it's accentuated by the moment where he bends down and says, oh, thank goodness for alone, we can talk. And then you think, oh, my God, it was all a trick. And then it wasn't a trick. Or at least it would appear it's not a trick. Um, and so the tide is coming in, and it's just... I mean, that is just grim. And the problem with doing that with Colin is memories of Twin Dilemma and the way he treated Perry in that story still live large in the memory... And I think they're supposed to. You don't do something as bold and, and um, uh, impactful as that without expecting it to resonate. And then, of course, we've had this relationship with Perry that has been tumultuous, to say the least, notwithstanding the fact that he's been really good, positive, you know, he's been had some really positive moments recently. It's deeply unpleasant. And we're starting to get into the territory, actually, weirdly. Perry getting a job, <laughs> which comes a bit out of nowhere. That's almost like Virgin New Adventures territory. Um... I also want to say, weirdly, now this is a caveat to, to all this, this is not unsylv like behaviour. Now, I know we try not to cast our minds forward. It's very easy to criticise the Colin Baker era because fandom's just done it for years, and maybe I've been part of that, to be utterly frank. But yeah, it, haters. No, I'm not a hater. Just, but, you know, we are pushing towards a sort of darker end of sylv territory, aren't we? Anyway, that's not what I want to say. So then we have the trial, and I still think the trial's working here because suddenly it brings into question what is going on with the Doctor? Why are you behaving this way? And that's actually pitched really, really well. So in terms of an isolated story, I do think it works. I, genuinely, this question of suddenly, well, this Doctor, you know, what's going on here? There are two problems. First of all, the aforementioned... Do we entire, you know, Colin has done things that are quite undoctor like, and this has resonance of that. And I do think that's problematic. We've not perhaps seen enough, oh, it's unfair to say we've not seen warmth and affection. We've seen enough warmth and affection. He's been good. But there's something about the sort of memories of, of the way treated Perry and Twin Dilemma that really don't sit well with that. But the other thing is, lest us not forget, and maybe we shouldn't view this in the context of what I'm about to say, but I'm going to anyway. This is the trial of a Time Lord. This is one of the most meta things the programme has ever done. And so if you're trying to project an image of that good old Doctor Who that's been a feature of our lives for 20-odd years, and isn't he a gem? Oh, we've got to love him. What a lovely old duffery. Oh, he's so cool. And then within the context of saying, look, 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 he's so good, he's on trial, you can save him, you know, which is the implicit message to the audience, and have him be presented as a dick, that's a problem. Weird. Well, I, I, you have to go there with this. So I'm torn. I'm really, really torn, because what I want to be able to do is kind of detach this from Trial of a Time Lord. Dog's at the back door, going to go and let her out. 
It's all right, it's all right. I want to be able to detach this from Mysterious Planet to a certain extent. I want to be able to view this within a better framework because there is the potential for something really smart happening here. But all the baggage that's coming with it is making this quite hard to watch. So at least the second half, right? Let's finish on a high. So much good stuff here, though. I've already said it. Brian Blessed, oh... What a gift to Doctor Who that man is. I mean, the love for Brian Blessed is eternal. But that bit with his uh, with his friend who he finds that we've already met and there's already a sense of tragedy there and you realise there's a connection between them and that's absolutely gorgeous. And and just Crozier's as sort of no nonsense. You know, this and Sill. Oh my goodness, Sill. Just what a character. Ah, I just wish this story could be allowed to breathe as its own story, which is a said from a mysterious planet. You know, the irony of it is, I do think the, the, the trial framework can work here. The scaffolding of it can really work and enhance the story. That couldn't be said of a mysterious planet. The, the trial thing could enhance the story here. Oh, anyway, there we go. I, I, don't get me wrong. For the most of that episode, I really enjoyed it, but there were moments that just made me feel a little bit queasy and Doctor Who rarely, rarely does that. 